What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Assemble with Care. I got a brand new puzzle game for you all. Well, it's not necessarily brand new. The game came out, I believe, in 2020, but it's new to me. So that means it's new to all of us. But uh, this is just what the game loaded into. So I guess we're opening up our little cassette tape, putting Maria's mix in here. <laughs> ah, ooh. Ooh, I believe I saw that this is the same developer that did Monument Valley, which is really cool. Oh wait, can I move this around? Where's the actual plug for it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Play? I like the headphones, by the way. Oh yeah. Assemble with care. Let's begin. Oh, this is great. I love this. Music is fantastic. Everything After is great. Here on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. Ah, okay, so there's like a visual novel aspect to it before you do the puzzles. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. Like the art like a lifetime. Places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. This is this is like the perfect game because I love <laughs> I, I always love the like restoration videos I see randomly on like TikTok or YouTube. They'll just like pop up and someone's like restoring like a super old thing. I'm just like, I want to do that. <laughs> Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and unpack. Oh. oh, coffee? Oh, this is the... <laughs> I see, this is the settings. Okay. <laughs> coffee is taking a break. Okay. Oh. Oh, what do I do? How do I... Oh. What do I... Click on the clasps to open them. Well, okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. I gotta get the function of the game. All right, so what exactly am I supposed to do? Tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. Okay. So I need to get a key for this. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. Nice little overalls or glasses. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. You're definitely cool enough. Definitely cool enough. I saw okay. a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman. Oh, the guitar picks. Little passport. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. Got our hairbrush with our hair tie. And some pictures. My parents took this after I made my first repair. Seems That's like cute. A <gasps> Camera? Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. <laughs> and our manual. This is cool. Suitcase. That was pretty, pretty simple. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. But you gotta love the instant ramen. Sometimes those are the best. First, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store that I had to be a part of. Traveling antiquer. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. All right, let's see what we're doing here then. Welcome to Bella Riva. <gasps> Arrival. Okay. Ah. Okay, so I assume that this is going to be the one where we're 
actually going to start doing uh, repairs and stuff. And it looks like... Okay, so we have 14 chapters, I believe. First one's just kind of a general introduction. I think I'm planning on doing like four chapters per episode. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait See how to goes. leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town. A very quiet town. Alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. Sounds lovely. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. Love a good festival. I want to go. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, Izzy. I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Oh, I know how to fix things. Don't you worry. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. Nice. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. Oh, don't worry, Izzy. I got you. I got you. I tried you. to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Oh, I definitely can try. And I'm going to restore this bad boy. Okay, cool. So this is where we're actually going to get to, like, repair things. So... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pick it back up. Put it here. Let's test it first. See, uh... Okay, so opens and closes. Obviously, the cassette is all busted. So I'll put that back there. Um... Ah, uh, rotate. Oh, there we go! Oh, cool! Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. So do that. Grab our screwdriver. Open this. Oh, oh, you actually have to... <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> that is very fun. Okay. Open that compartment. Aha. Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Oh, too easy. This is too easy. We got this. Okay, let's take the batteries out. Wham. Blam. Put these fresh, fresh ones in. Okay, let me rotate you just a bit. Put you back here. Oh, 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 I have to grab the screw. Grab the screw, put it in, and... Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Put you there. I'm gonna screw it back down. Nice. Why do we have a pencil? I wonder. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh, I know why we have a pencil. I know how to do things. <laughs> Okay, let's put you back. So now we need to fix the cassette. Got it. So basically what we do is you take the eraser and you put it in one of these holes and you have to rewind it back in. Or you can Why do that you part. Do that? <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's really fun. Okay, put you back there. Grab this, put it here. Grab a cassette. Let's close it. Oh, no, no, no. stay in there, stay in there. And let's see if it works. As a music box plays, we hear a woman sing along. Ah. Cool! Oh, I like this. I like this. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. Very good indeed. It's my mom. She Oh, oh! He trailed off. So it sad. The kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. But we brought back such a beautiful memory for her, even though it's really sad. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I'd say that's sufficient payment. Sufficient payment, indeed. I used preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. <laughs> she seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Oh. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. Oh, that's very sad. She went a lot. Good night, my darling. All right, lullaby complete. Shattered. Oh, do we get to glue a... Uh... Uh, 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 a, a, a statue thing back together. I don't know why I'm calling it a statue. Um, I don't know My what I'm saying. My first <laughs> repair complete. 
I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. Just the little jobs. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. Ooh, what would that be? The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. I really like the... the you can hear the beach sounds on top of the music. It's a very nice kind of ambient uh, sound design that they put into this game. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still harried. dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Mm. Joseph? I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Oh, there, yeah, it is a statue. Thinking, okay. I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. <laughs> it survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Oh, I think I can restore this bad boy. Let's go. Oh, cool. All right. So... Will you be able oh. to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. No, no, no. I, I got you, buddy. I got you. I'm, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I know how to work on things. Um, let's see, though. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't know it would just start putting glue down. It didn't give me the option. Okay, let's put it on the foot. We gotta have plenty of coverage. Plenty. Plenty. Of coverage. <laughs> This is, this is definitely too much glue. This is definitely too much glue. It's fine though, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. I'll put you back, I'll put you back. Um, <laughs> let me put the leg here. Nice, 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 nice. I'd like to rotate you, please. Ah. Oh, this is the other part, oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. So let's let's rotate this once more. Oh, and we gotta put glue on here now. Yeah, glue it all up. Glue it all up. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. We're getting glue all over everything. This is very satisfying. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Put that back. Get the leg. Toss it right there. Sometimes oh, yeah. I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> Kids will do that sometimes. They're crazy. They break everything. <laughs> okay, nice. So now we need chest piece. Huzzah! <gasps> Very good. Okay, no, 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 no. Put you back, put you back. I want to rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can get glue on this side. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to be upset if I happen to get glue all over the outside of the cracks. It's just an absolute mess when he gets it back. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. There was that tiny little piece right there. I th otherwise, I think that's perfect coverage. So now I want... Oh, probably this arm goes here. Yeah. And I still need to get this arm. So let's get some glue down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. It's a lot of glue. It's a lot of glue. It's a perfect amount of glue. <laughs> oh, oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, there's some on this side. On the inside now. So this should have full coverage. So much glue. So much glue. <laughs> perfect, though. Perfect. So now we can put the arm. And then the last piece. Oh, here we go. Is going to be the head. Just wedged on in. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Oh, you know it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, and you can actually inspect and look at the things afterwards. That's that's a nice, nice touch. That's a cool statue. I like it. Thank you. Figurine was the other word. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My no problem, Joseph. My wanted me to make something of myself. 
He didn't have time for anything less. Hmm. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. Ah, the mayor. Is Izzy's mom. Mr. Mayor. They must both miss her so much. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? Hmm. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, maybe he's just kind of distraught over the loss of their mother. Doesn't necessarily... He wants to distract himself with his work. Disconnected. Ooh, uh, I'll, I'll work on a telephone. Let's go. <laughs> My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing. This town sounds amazing. Cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Nice little cobblestone place bathing in the sun in the beach cafes parades I was about to go festivals when the owner of Carmen's the cafe next door stopped me uh, hello Maria were you here yesterday handing out flyers I have a job for you do you let's hear it her place was petite tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice <laughs> judging by the empty tables inside though her potential customers hadn't noticed it either oh it's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Sweet. I want to repair. I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Is that so, Carmen? Is that so? Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Yeah, yeah. I got you. We're going to restore this bad boy. Ooh. Oh, wait. What is this? I have no idea. I'm going to keep that. All right. Let's get the telephone going. Let's see what we've got. I love this bright, bright, yellowy orange phone. This is great. Okay. Let's unscrew this. And. Obviously, we'd normally shweep. be much busier than this. Sweep. Okay. Leave that there. Get another screw. Shwip. And last screw. Shwip. Yeah, there we go. Pull that right off. Sit you, you down over there. Fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. <laughs> Carmen, calm down. I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'd like to put you over here, please. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, put you there. Yeah, it's missing a bell. So let's unscrew this section. Get the screw over there. Oh yeah, you just pull the whole panel off. Click the wire and drag it to the toolbox to detach it. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, like that. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so let's take this out. That piece is all broken, so we need to put a new part in. And we also need to remove the bell. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I need to take this off. The broken bell. And let's get the new one up. Get a screw on there. Tighten her down. Lovely, lovely. Uh, let's rotate you. Anything on the back? No. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's connect bell to the bell and phone to the phone wire looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up yeah you got it you got it i'm an expert <laughs> repairer here all right let's get, screw this back down cool 
And other than that, we should just put the top back on, rotate it. To attach. Where does it go? Oh, don't you worry. I know exactly where this goes. See, I'm the expert here. I'm the expert restorer. This is this is so very satisfying to do. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. And look at that. We got a rotary phone. Ah, oh, so satisfying. So very satisfying. The Everdial. Oh, that looks so cool. I love the physics on the the cord too. It's all bouncy. All right, complete. When Very I nice. The phone back to Carmen. She seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. How come? How come? So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down. She's scared to call nope, her sister. It's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and oh. the rent and the suppliers. Oh. Look, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. Hmm, interesting. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. Yeah, she's struggling financially. She's calling her sister for financial help. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? Hmm. When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee. Her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <laughs> Oh god, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Ooh. Can you come by tomorrow? Another job? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, disconnected. Complete. <gasps> and a really cool camera. All right, hold on. <sighs> should I do four per episode or should I do five per episode? Because then it would, if I did number five, then I'd have one, two, three, four, five, and I'd only have three left. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the four, four per episode. So four on this episode, four on the next episode, and then there's a thirteenth. So one, two, three, four. Wait. Let's just do it. Let's, let's just, let's just do this one. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. I, I do want to do the camera. I promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Man, this, this girl's flyers that she put out are doing wonders for her business. <laughs> Never Curious, heard of such a thing. I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you Elena. about the camera? It's about time. Ah, uh, excuse you. <laughs> The woman in front of me was immaculate. Immaculate. Hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My I see. sister. I see a couple out of place. Know how to fix things. I'd usually oh, this is the sister. Course, in this, town. this is the sister. So this was Carmen's sister. The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. Oh, you know we can do it. Let's restore. Ah, cool. So this is the new viewfinder. I I love cameras. I love old cameras like this. Um, I have one for my grandpa that actually does need a new viewfinder. So maybe I'll learn a thing or two from this. Okay, let's start by always unscrewing. I, I really appreciate that uh, she has a little little uh, thingy to put the screws into. It's always very good to keep organized, especially when you're taking out small screws out of things. I have I have one of those. It's actually magnetic that you put the screws in and they actually stand there. So if you like knock it over or it gets bumped, uh, the screws and all the pieces won't go flying out. Oh, oops, didn't even see those up there. All right, let's get these screws, hippity hop. Hippity, hippity, yeah. 
Okay, get the top piece out. Uh, let's rotate this a little bit. I'd like to take the this off. Here we go. Cool. Oh yeah. How did you break the entire interior mirror? That's wild. Okay. Um, take the front I don't piece suppose off. Suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. What are you talking about, lady? What are you talking about? <laughs> you think you're special? Think you got a lot of money? Okay, here's the viewfinder out. New, uh, we need we need a little duster, just a little, just kind of get any broken glass out of there. Otherwise, it's gonna make a mess. I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Oh sure. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Very cool. All right, so let's uh go ahead and put this thing back together. So let's get you front centered, put you out in the back. Need to put the top piece back on. And I may as well put the lens back as well. Start getting these screws back in. There's one. There's a two. Man, if it's this easy, maybe I should do it on uh, my old film camera then. And ah, 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 ah. Here's number three. So now we have to test this bad boy. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? So let's, oh, I guess we're just taking off that whole piece. So let's put you in here then. No, 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 okay. I need to at least get the, the initial start of it kind of pushed over, that way I can make it work, but I guess, because that's not how it's working right now. <laughs> Normally you need to take the film, bring it across. There's a section that uh, has no development, won't get exposed. And you do, uh, it's like one or two cranks, depending on the film, depending on the camera, before it's ready to start taking pictures. The Linux. Oh man, you need a, a little microfiber cloth for that glass. And there's some smudgies on there. Cool. Oh, that's great. That's great. The Linux UT, <laughs> U2G58. All right. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. No, no, surely not. Any cameras? I are picked camera. it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition, the first of its kind. First of its it cost kind. Cost me mm -hmm. three months' salary, but it was worth it. I had no idea what three months' salary meant. Yeah. Atlanta, <laughs> but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. Three months of uh, working at uh, McDonald's for part-time employment? What, maybe it was <laughs> like 1500 bucks or something? I don't know. It was strange, really, that we were even or staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? Maybe she liked this, she the vibe of it. She test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is... Immaculate. Thank you. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. She's so snobby. <laughs> Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. It's the relation. I hear Still nothing sisters. from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she mm. thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. Be hard. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's a little sad for Carmen. She's got this tiny little cafe tucked between all these other little places. <gasps> Is that Carmen's neon sign that I get to fix? Maybe that will attract all the new people to come into her shop. But. I guess we won't know until the next episode. So thank you all so much for coming out for this. Uh, I really like this. I It's a good, relaxing, wholesome game. Always fun, always great. And uh, I love the visuals. I love the mechanics of it, of how to like take things apart. I really hope it continues to get more complex as we go along. I did five episodes today. We'll see, we'll see if I do this in Three videos, two videos. I don't know how much quicker these things are gonna go. Um, and if the complexity is gonna get even more uh, complex. But stay tuned.
I should be uploading part two tomorrow. I'll just kind of do this one back to back as I, again, I'm really enjoying it, but uh, love to hear what you all think. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.